Three affordable housing projects are coming to the city of Atlanta, but business owners worry one of those projects is just another attempt to revitalize Atlanta's West End that won't come to fruition. 11 Live's Teresa Bowles took their concerns to the nonprofit behind the plans. Atlanta's West End has been due for facelift for a long time. Something might happen. The physical building being the mall takes the bad reputation. Nowadays, longtime resident Kevin says when people talk about the West End area, a historic and black neighborhood, they tend to mention crime and dilapidated buildings. And every few years, some developer tries to change things. However, longtime business owners tell me they've heard it all before and watched colleagues time and time again have to close because of false promises. If you look around, most of the stores are gone because we've been being told for years after years that you're not going to have a business to open if you don't relocate. Atlanta Urban Development CEO John Major says this time will be different. Timing is always the critical factor in any real estate development. What we have that I don't think any of the other developments have had is leadership at the caliber of Mayor Dickens. Together this week, the city of Atlanta and Atlanta Urban Development announced three new affordable housing projects, one in downtown town, one in the English Avenue area, and one at the Mall West End, a place Major says he frequented while at Morehouse. The neighborhood will see a grocery store and restaurants, and when Major says affordable, he means it. A one bedroom will be right around a thousand bucks a month. Major says he's also protecting affordability for the mall businesses, like Kevin's Burning Sands, but he says the reshaping will need to be a group project to finally see the West End prosper. Bring some new life into the neighborhood, some new stores, more opportunity. The downtown project will start leasing sometime next year. Construction for the Mall West End and English Avenue projects is also set to begin next year. Together, these three projects will bring nearly 350 new housing units to the area.